Hi everybody, welcome back to the Tax Supply Channel. Today in this video, we are going to look at how to call Visual Builder business objects from integration. For example, you have a requirement to insert the data into the business object from third-party application via an integration approach. How you can achieve this? So in this short video, I am going to explain the same. So guys, before we start, I will request everyone to subscribe to my channel to get regular updates and don't forget to click on the bell icon to get the updates. With that, we will start and one more useful information I would like to give you here. Uh, there's a book on Visual Builder, which I have written myself like a uh, few months back. This will give you a depth knowledge of Oracle Visual Builder. If you are willing to learn Oracle Visual Builder, you can buy this book. So here's the link to buy this book, https colon slash slash pack dot live slash 3mwsnr7. This link will take you to the Amazon website from where you can buy this book. Okay, now let's go ahead and see how to achieve this now here you see uh, i have this uh, application demo vb wherein i have simply created one employee business object with certain fields like age created by creation date email address first name id okay so this is the business object which i have created and i have a data here and right i have only single record now you want to leverage integration capability to call this business object and then load the data here for example there might be certain use cases like your SaaS application from where uh, you want to pull the data and insert the data into the business objects how you can do this as you know like uh, visual builder business object provides the endpoints rest endpoints which you can call from outside and here you see, if you click on this endpoints, it will show you all the endpoints, which is generated by VB itself. You don't need to generate it yourself. That will be generated automatically. Let me refresh it, maybe some issues. Okay, so here you see, I have slash employee get many create and then get one update delete. You can call any one of the endpoint as per your requirement. So if you see get one, if you try to hit this, you can click on this test and then let's say employee id one and then send request so it will give me the result whatever i have similarly i have the post endpoints also like this so you can use this endpoint to create the employee how you test it you just build a body here like i will show you how to build the body so in order to build the body what you can do you can simply go ahead here and then test it one send request you can copy this okay copy go back to this endpoint again go back to post test and then go to body section and here you uh, yeah here you can paste the body you can save this one you can put the data whatever you want this so I don't need these fields that will be auto-generated. Let's say I did data, I did detect, and let's say image 30 and then send request. Now here you see I did too. Now the employee has been created. So this is the request body and this is the response. So I would be needing this. Let me just copy this somewhere. Okay, and then let me just copy this also. I would be needing it. So, okay, so this is how you can test this API directly from VP. Now, if you want to post or insert the data from integration, how we can do this? Now, I am going to my integration. And first of all, I have to create a REST connection with that endpoint. Okay, so one more thing, I would like to show you how my endpoint looks like open this application, go to this and open this business object and go to this endpoint. So here, as you know, like VB has three different stages. One is development, second is staging and third is live. And here you can see the complete endpoint. So this is for your development. This is for your staging and this is for your live. 
So this is your complete endpoint. So what I'm going to do, I am going to create. So here you see slash data slash employee will be same, but here you see builder. So design RT and there is, and here we don't have anything here. We see have the version. So what I'm going to do, I am going to create the rest connection from this URL. Okay. And slash data says employee. I will configure in my rest wizard. I will copy this. And then again, going back to my integration, I have to create a rest connection with role in walk. Okay, go here and let's say, search your rest API. So rest adapter, sorry, let's say BB rest. Okay, I will select this, this role as a, this one. And here's connection type rest API and put it here. Okay, and whenever you will change the stage, you have to change the connection URL. Username, password, and then test. So this takes the basic authentication. So I will simply use this. Okay, save this connection and then back. Okay, what I'm going to do, I am going to create an integration here based on the app one and then select and let's say VB insert. Okay, create. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to create my REST API. Okay, and then we'll call that REST adapter. REST, okay, inbound connection. You can say insert data. Next, here what I'm going to do, I'm going to say data. And here it'll say post and then configure request payload, configure this endpoint to receive the response and JSON inline. And let me just take uh, this payload here. Okay, like first name, last name, email address, age, qualification. It can be anything. These keys can be anything. Okay, because I am generating my REST API and in the response, I will take the ID in the response okay so i will simply say ID. okay okay and then next and then finish right the next thing how to call the vb rest endpoint so here i will use this vb rest okay and let's say vb rest and here i have to give data slash employee so employee is the business object name the verb is post and configure a request payload, configure this endpoint to receive the response. It accepts JSON and it will accept the JSON into this format. I will take it and then next and then JSON sample and then inline. And then I will again take the same response which I have taken from there. So this is how your response looks like. Okay, next and then finish. Okay, so here in this request, what I have to do, I have to simply map the data. Request wrapper. And then here also, and then simply say first name, last name, email address, age and then qualification validate this okay and then close it now here what you have to do you have to map the response like id so we have a lot many fields but here what i'm going to do i'm going to simply map the id okay Fine, validate, and then close. I'm done. Let me simply enable this tracking parameter. And let me say first name for the time being. Save, save this, and then close it. Activate this integration. Enable tracing, include payload, that's fine. Activate your integration and then refresh. Okay, I am good. 
let's try to test this integration. I know it's a little fast, but that's fine. Say the gamma c the thirty-four. That's fine, and then best. Here, once the here you see two hundred. Okay, and I have received ID as three. Now, if I go back to the visual builder, go to this demo. And here we see the data should be inserted. Let me refresh it. Sometime it does not load. Here you see Nidhi and the ID is three. So this is how you can call VB and points from your integration. Okay, so guys, that's all about this. If you like the video, please like, comment, and share. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get regular updates. You can find me on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook. You can also see my blog, https colon slash slash Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a good day.